Alright, this is John Cola with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you and we're coming at you from the 2013 Woodstock Fruit Festival. And uh, today we're gonna introduce Dr. Sam to you. He's an amazing guy that's helped me out a lot. And actually because I did, as you guys, many of you guys know, uh, broke my arm and jacked up my other arm, I needed some form of physical therapy. And uh, Dr. Sam actually hooked me up with a, with a session and after his session, I was actually able to move more. And he's told me that his kind of physical therapy is a little bit different than what most physical therapists would offer. So Dr. Sam, why is your physical therapy a little bit different than others out there? Well, overall, the approach that I take is called the chain of health, and there's eight links in the chain, and I actually picture it on my shirt here. And so address overall therapy as a way of life, not just some four to six week program that people do and then they go back to their normal lifestyle. So within the chain of health, uh, those links are food, air, water, light, rest, activity, hygiene, and love. And the overall approach is really, really powerful because most of the time physical therapists are only addressing one of the links in the chain and possibly maybe part of another one. So you're talking 17 and a half or to 20% of the total equation and 80% of the equation is being left on the table where people aren't, aren't receiving that type of therapy. True therapy is a way of life. It's, it's, I can't say that enough. So my approach is very different that way. The, the three main things that I utilize in my practice are hands-on therapy, patient education, which is the whole wellness piece, and corrective exercise. Wow, great. So, you know, how did you learn this information? Because I know you, when you were working on me and maybe give a demonstration here of working on this arm here for the camera there. Oh, sure, sure. So when, when I was working on John, the ultimate thing, just like I do with anybody, is to, when you touch somebody, is to figure out where the core restrictions are in their body. And those are the restrictions that are going to ultimately unlock the other areas that might be painful. So one of the biggest key things in the therapy world is to not chase symptoms. It's really hard to do. Somebody comes to you and says, it hurts right here. Well, then the problem must be there, but the reality is a lot of times it's not. So it's really important. In John's case, he fell from a, from a pretty high distance and, and smacked into things. So I didn't just go chasing after where his symptoms were in his arm. I started treating his spine and, and his thorax because that's what his arm's connected to. And that's where the brunt of the trauma is. When he hit the ground, he got that uh, like jarring sensation. So all that trauma was stored in, in his chest and his spine. Getting that unlocked first was the key because that's where the central nervous system is. And, and your extremities are very often, the symptoms in them is just related to the core, central core of the body. So always, always targeting somebody's central nervous system first. And then it's so much easier to work hands-on with people on a peripheral joint, a shoulder, an elbow, a wrist, a hip, a knee, an ankle, and get results. And it's key. So, I mean, when I'm working on people, the, the biggest thing with therapy is to not force things. I know physical therapists very often get this reputation, PT equals pain and torture, PT equals physical terrorist. And it saddens me that my profession is represented that way sometimes because it doesn't have to be that way. It's always about finesse, not force. You do not have to force anything. He was already forced once. He fell off a ladder, broke one arm, and really, as he said, jacked up his other arm and actually hit his face too. So at that point, there's no need to then re-traumatize him. True therapy is done in a way that assists the healing process. It never interferes with it, and it never re you're never going against the body's wisdom. So I have a philosophy too that you shouldn't have to recover from an injury and illness twice, which means once from the injury, then again from the treatments for it. It makes absolutely no sense. Neither does trying to implement one treatment intervention to undo the effects of another one. So we, let's say we're really aggressive with him, and then I said, well now you need an ice pack to cool down the, the pain and inflammation. And I am often told that all the time that people go to other therapists, when they do that, I say, well, why did their treatments cause more pain and inflammation? That doesn't make any sense to me. You're not going to undo the effects of one treatment intervention by applying more of a less invasive one. It, it, it doesn't add up. You just treat the body correctly to begin with, and you'll get the results you're looking for. Awesome, man. So, Dr. Sam, if somebody wants to, you know, uh, learn more about how you learn this, because it's a lot different than most therapies, how can somebody learn what you learned if they're a physical therapist and want to move forward in their career? And then uh, two, how can somebody actually get a hold of you to get the therapy that you offer? Yeah, ultimately I have 
this system that's actually going to be released this fall, so I'm excited about that. And this teaches the whole overall wellness approach to to rehabilitation and something I call rawhabilitation. So the rawhabilitation stands for not only raw foods, but the other raw materials in the overall chain of health. And people can learn that by just studying the basic concept of wellness first and foremost. And they can reach me at my, my main website is drsampt.com, that's D-R-S-A-M-P-T.com. And on my website, I have uh, some different products and services. I currently have a rehab manual out right now called Dr. Sam's Revolutionary Rehab Manual that lays out a lot of key principles to rehabilitation that are often violated when people are going through the rehab process. So the book's really for the clinicians and the layperson. I've had both sets of people tell me it's awesome because it's very nuts and bolts. There's no fluff. It's written in a manual format, not a book format. So if people can get that product now or they can wait till this one is out because this is going to be a home study kind of how-to take your health from where it is to the next level. And the biggest key factor to understand with it is the factors that make us well are the factors that keep us well. That's a million dollar secret. And a lot of the times when people get pain or they're injured, they get amnesia. They're like, oh God, what do I do now? And you do the same thing you should have been doing all along, which is following this chain of health concept and living in the most healthful way possible. Because when you ultimately remove the causes of a problem and then establish the conditions of health, you really have the fastest way back to health. And the quick fix, which everybody wants, I'm gonna deliver with this product, but I can tell you up front that the key is to find the weakest link in the chain and fix it first, because as we all know, a chain is as strong as its weakest links. The other way you can come learn it and really, really sink it in is coming to one of my retreats. And I run retreats a lot of, now we're in Costa Rica, but I plan to do some in the States in the future. We go through a week long intensive going through this whole system and you're immersed in it to the point where when you leave you're totally transformed. I guarantee it. And if not, you can have your money back. That's how sure I am it's gonna change your life. Wow, I'm I'm highly confident that Dr. Sam's treatment on me has changed my life. We agree much on the dietary principles about you know healthy living comes from eating healthy and living healthily and not just you know doing things that other people are doing that may not lead to the health just like you talked about in here. I definitely recommend that you guys check out his website, check out his programs. I would highly recommend them. So uh, anything else you'd like to say, Dr. Sam? Uh, no, just thanks for the interview, John. It's always an honor. I love this guy. He's great at, at what he does, and he's a true picture of health. You look at how vibrant he looks, and it's, it's a product of how he chooses to live his life. Um, the only last things I'd say, because people have asked me all week, what's a good exercise for dot, 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 fill in the blank. And my response has been most of the time, exercise your power of choice. That's the best exercise you could be doing for your whatever it is, fill in the blank. John, I want to thank you again, drsampt.com, D-R-S-A-M-P-T.com is the website. I look forward to serving you. John, thanks again. It's an honor and it's a privilege to be interviewed. All right, thanks a lot, Dr. Sam. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode. You know, if you got some pains in your body, you want to fix the whole system, including the weakest link, not just address the cause, because it's right there and the pain's right there and it must be right there, right? And don't do no more damage, because I have to get x-rayed and the x-ray tech cranked my arm and actually made me hurt worse. Then this is not cool. And I'm all about compassionate, you know, gentle manipulation to get the healing results and Dr. Sam provided that to me, so I am grateful. So thank you for yeah, that, Dr. Sam. You're welcome. So uh, once again, my name is John Kohler with okraw.com. We'll see you next time, and remember until then, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best.